Bartlett Lake area. We're gonna try this one more time, see if we can't catch some fish this time. Catch you guys in a few minutes as soon as I get done stringing up. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and uh, start casting out. Starting with the little frog lure I found at Bass Pro Shop, see how he works. going on around this place. Alrighty guys, well, no pepes here, we got the world's smallest catfish. Yay. Not what we want. Live bait is still sitting out there doing traveling, but not doing anything other than that. All right, guys, check it out. This is that cave I was talking about. It's made by the, the reeds that we sat up underneath the other day. There's another one over there on that side, just tucked in the back. But so far we're not getting anything. I got live bait sitting here on the bottom, fish, a little fish. And I've got a worm sitting over there. Just hoping somebody's gonna talk. I tried lures after lures after lures after, uh, there was nothing to video. It was just cast after cast after cast with nothing to hit. Can't really understand it, this, this this is like prime bass fishing area, you know? Or you'd think it was with all the overhanging brush and the reeds and all that, but nothing biting nothing. So I guess we're gonna stay out here all day long till we find somebody. See if I can knock some of that glare off of that so you can see inside that cave a little bit. All right, guys. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa. Is that me or is that this? Anyways, I've changed spots again. I'm sitting right off the edge of this little river here. I got my line out. Just waiting for somebody to come say bye. And I mean bye. I thought I had one. Oh, oh, wait a minute. I am getting some action. Oh, let me get to it. Let me get to it. Oh, yeah, 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 We got somebody going on here. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All righty. Now that's a lot better. Nice largemouth bass, and that hooks perfectly. Look, I love that way that hook built works. All right, guys, caught some more little fish with the cast net. Put a couple out there. Just waiting for something to go on. That little guy is moving around real fast. Real fast, somebody must be near him. But I got, oh, wait a minute, I just got bumped. Come on, buddy, take it. Come on, you can do it. Come on, buddy. Come on, brother, you can do it. Oh, there you go. Oh, 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 there we go. There we go. You got to be there. Oh, what we got? Kitty cat? What? Oh, oh, look at that. Another bass. All right. All right, all right, all right. Uh, uh, I'm in the side this time. Uh, loving those hooks, though. He looks like he's a little bit smaller than the other guy. Ouch. There we go. Let go my wrist. 
hang on a sec, sorry about that. Here we go. That's a little largemouth bass. Go ahead and let him take off and go. They like them little fish. Oh, look at him. He's got a little red spot on the side of him. Huh. What gave him that? Line out. Bring you all over here. Nice little largemouth bass. He's got a red spot there. I don't know where he got the red spot from, but. Seems to like little crappie. A little fat belly too. Okay, buddy, out you go. I gotta... Anyways, Oop. don't want to lose him. Oop. What I say? These are the little guys I'm using for bait. So far, the bass seem to really like them. Let's see if we can keep that roll going with one more. Just hook them in like that and let them flop around. I've got a little uh, T-swivel I, I bought from uh, a site online and it allows the fish to do 360s around without, without tangling it up. Of course, doesn't do nothing for the other line doing it to itself. They go there, and one more time. Seems to be a pretty good, uh, pretty good spot right here by this uh, where the stream comes through. They seem to really, really dig this uh, water rushing through the basket anyway. That. Oh, All right. Now, like I said, I'm gonna go try to get some more bait. That would be my last crappie. You can see him tinkering around already. All right, guys. I got one bait out on that side. Oh, what the heck? Come on, baby. Keep going, keep going. Take something. Come on, take it. Ah, damn it. Ah. Oh, that's different. I've been catching these guys on, uh, Live fish. Apparently, this one likes worms. Come here. Anyways, he's a little bit smaller, but so I'm gonna, dude, this seems to be a hot spot for bass. Just one after another. Well, except for that one, it's been like 20 minutes. It's been sitting out there. I guess they're. Uh, I guess I got tired of the little fish and started eating worms. I don't know. Anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cast this guy back out and uh, see what he can get. Yeah, bumpers don't normally travel. Ah. Ah, dang, maybe they did change the worms. Maybe they did change, oh, he's got a little red tongue. <laughs> Maybe they did change the worms. Just, oh man, right in the top of the lip. Oh, it's just funny that they're biting on that little bitty hook with the worm. And that's supposed to be catching the crappie that I catch these guys with. 
but yeah, a fish is a fish. See you guys later. Have a good day. And all right, guys, just sitting here watching my bubble, Bob. See, if you guys can see it. Yep, see, there goes another nibble. Just waiting for him to get it. No, 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 you got, you got, no, no, no. Oh, it's somebody different. Nice, nice little bluegill there. Anyways, we got a nice little bluegill. But, looks like he took the whole hook and nothing but the hook. Nice and easy, no, no problem. I've been sitting here for like a hour and a half, waiting for something to attack. My uh, fish I have, my lure, my, or my little uh, uh, crappie. And if you can see him, he ran around the deal, but he just came up out of the water and took that fish. And of course, I'm anchored to the bank, so I can't get over there. And that little branch is holding me from here. Time to reel me into the fish. Really? There you go, nice little kitty cat. Come on, brothers. Uh huh, I got robbed. All right. I had double hookup for a second there. Very nice. I'll put him right there. All right, guys. I changed back to this spot again. Put my fishes out. And I got another, uh, I got a bass. That little fish was alive, but I don't think he's so much anymore. Uh, I still got one sitting out there. Let me go ahead and take this off and uh, get this back out. All right, guys. We found another cat. This one likes to eat bass. I had a largemouth bass on here just spinning around. And this little guy here just trashed him. Totally took him down. And boy, did he get that hook in there good. There you go. Nice slender bodies. Nice clean. I knew that bass wasn't gonna last for long. I mean, he would just all over the top of the water. Somebody finally got ticked off and took him out. All right, guys, that last bass. Got a bad, big cat. This guy here attacked that bass like it was going out of style. Hope, uh, hopefully y'all get the whole deal. The size of the head of that guy. Nice cat. Come on, baby. There you go. Well, dang. 
I was gonna go home, but now everything's heating up. Everything's getting going. I got one more fish left in the bucket. I'm going for it.